Hey, I'm Nick from First Pour Wine, and welcome to the first episode we've done in a really long time. So today is something of a, uh, a test where we're going to find out whether or not I've set this up correctly. Um, so hopefully for all of you watching at home, if you've got feedback about how this could be better or how it couldn't be any worse, leave something in the comments for me. So today what we're going to talk about is Matua. Matua is a Sauvignon Blanc from Marlboro, uh, 2014 if I believe, correct? Yep. And what it says it means is it is a Maori word for head of the family. So if I'm butchering Maori, I apologize. Um, but they're also claiming to be the first to produce Sauvignon Blanc in New Zealand. Now, everybody knows that if you're the first to produce something, hey, it could be amazing. You could like have made Reese's, right? You could make Reese's peanut butter cups. Those are awesome. Who doesn't love Reese's? Or you could have made Silly Putty, which was supposed to be like for tires and for boots as a substitute for rubber. And instead it peels Popeyes off of the newspaper backwards or it bounces a little bit. Still awesome, not really useful. So let's see how much to it. Mm. All right, so Sauvignon Blanc, really, really glassy, grassy varietal, not glassy. This is a glass. This is gonna smell a little bit green. So you can see here, try and get the color. All right, so it's got a nice golden hue to it. Give it a little snip. So right off the bat, lots of green things. You've got lime, you've got papaya, a little bit of like cilantro, jalapeno pepper, really, really green, grassy, herbal. I'm having so much trouble saying grassy for some reason today. Mm. But like you get all of those green fruits, a little bit of star fruit, just, it's just so good. Even maybe a little bit of green apple, but mostly tropical. Let's give it a taste. Same elements come through, so you get a little bit of that kind of green kind of flavor, but it's like it's like key lime pie meets a little bit of like mint, and it all comes together with star fruit, a little bit of papaya, and it creates this like green kind of fruit salad. It's really good, and the finish is clean and short. It's it's crisp and refreshing, like you just took an easy little taste of like limeade. So not a lot of sweetness, very dry, but very refreshing. I would give this, give another taste. I'd give this about an 87. It's really quite enough Sauvignon Blanc. For $10, this is an easy thing to serve at any party. Your, your guests are gonna love it. Um, definitely worth a try. So if you haven't had a Sauvignon Blanc in a while, uh, Matua from 2014 in Marlboro, totally worth it. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions about Sauvignon Blanc, feel free to post them up in the comments. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at First Pour Wine, uh, or you can like us on Facebook or subscribe here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and enjoy your wine. Cheers.